If we've wired everything right, then we press the green button, the green light comes on, the yellow button, the yellow light comes on, the red button, the red light comes on, the blue button, the blue light comes on, and when we switch switch one, it'll sequence through all four lights. This particular S7-1200's inputs can be syncing or sourcing, and it has sourcing outputs. We already have a video on the difference between syncing and sourcing, and the same principles apply to Siemens that we used in it. So if we look at the same diagram, I want to wire my inputs as syncing. So I'm just going to put my hand over that, and that tells me exactly how to wire it. So I need to put plus 24 volts up to my switch, and I'm going to take my switch onto my input. And then I have sourcing output. So I'll put my hand over top of it, and I'm going to take my output to my light, and then the other side will go to the minus. And there's a diagram in the manual we're going to clarify that with. But to begin with, we're going to jumper the green or normally open contact of button one, button two, button three, button four, and switch one to our plus 24 volts. Now I'm going to jumper one side of each of my lights to the minus 24. And remember, the left set of terminal blocks is our plus 24 volt, and the right set is our minus 24 volt. Now that we have all the bulk wiring done, let's look in the manual, make sure we understand why we did it and how we're gonna wire to the S7-1200. And note number two here is the important one for understanding the sinking and sourcing. For sinking inputs, connect the minus to the M, which is what's shown for sourcing inputs, connect the plus to the M. So we're gonna do it just like they did here. So I have one M and they have it going to the minus of our power supply. And then they're taking the plus to each one of their switches. And that's the jumpers that you installed across your buttons and switch one. And we'll take the other side of those and wire them down to the input. So button one will be input zero, two will be one, three will be two, four will be three, and switch one will be input four. So let's go ahead and connect the bottom of our buttons and switch one to our inputs. And those are these top terminals here. Now we need to connect one M to the minus of our power supply. And this is by far the most often overlooked wire because that is what's gonna complete our circuit to make our inputs turn on. Next, let's go ahead and connect a wire to the remaining terminal on each one of our lights. And on our bottom, you'll find our output terminals and light one is going to be output zero, light two is going to be output one, light three is going to be output two, and light four is going to be output three. And then same thing, the common or the power that's feeding these outputs is the most often overlooked thing. And let's look at the manual, make sure we understand that. There's output zero through three that we just landed the lights at. We're going to feed plus 24 to 4L plus. And very important, even though these are sourcing outputs, we still have to hook up this minus right here. So we're going to take 4M to the minus of our power supply. So quick review, you should have plus 24 on the 4L plus terminal here. The 4M is minus 24. Then light 1, light 2, light 3, and light 4. The opposite side of those go to the minus of the power supply. And we're feeding 24 volt to the top of all of our buttons and switch one. Then we're taking button one to input zero, button two to input one, button three to input two, button four to input three, and switch one to input four. And again, the most often overlooked wire is this M right here goes to the minus of our power supply. I'm gonna move my PLC to the front of the trainer, mainly that way I can point things out during the lessons, but I'm gonna highly urge you not to do this because it makes wiring as you're going along much more difficult. And there's really nothing to gain by having it on the front of the trainer. Your trainer came pre-programmed with a getting started program. And if you've done your wiring right, when you press the green button, the green light will come on, the yellow button, the yellow light will come on, the red button, the red light will come on, the blue button and the blue light will come on. And when you switch switch one, it'll sequence through the lights. Now, if you have any problems with that, go back to that getting started wiring diagram and there'll be a pin comment with it. And after that, click here to start learning to program TIA portal.